My name is Katie Horan. My solo show entitled Rooms is currently on view at Great Out Gallery in Austin, Texas through January 9th. In late 2018, I made a choice to steer away from the research-based work that I had been doing that focused mostly on folklore and female archetypes to make work that was more personal. Like many people, I have been through some hard times and have found that being candid and honest about it is very healthy. And I wanted to use my work to continue the conversation, not just about all the difficult things we go through, but the ways that we show up and hold space for each other and the trauma we carry afterward. The show includes pencil and ink drawings, mixed media sculpture, some small watercolors, a performance video piece, and five large paintings. The subject matter of this work is new, but my approach is the same. I create ambiguous narratives that allow the viewer to bring their own life experience and references to the piece and to walk away with their own personal interpretation. I love film, and I approach these paintings and drawings as if they were stills from films that don't actually exist. This allowed me to use melodrama, character archetypes, and vaguely historical settings to tell stories about real things, such as loss, violence, and mental illness, in a somewhat fantastical and coded way. I wanted to talk about a range of experiences with this work. I wanted to show women struggling with things out of their control, as well as women surviving and caring for or defending each other. All of the ideas at the core of this work are based in real life experience, but by using cinematic and archetypal imagery, I hope that I've created a somewhat safe space to invite viewers to think about these hard things and maybe even see some of themselves in these stories. I did want to create some moments of levity within the show to give the audience and myself some lighter or more humorous moments amongst the heavy themes of this work. The series of watercolors entitled Haunt 1 through 8 are pretty simple. They are images of ghosts framed by decorative vaginal shapes. Personally, I find the idea of haunted vaginas very funny, but it also felt like a safe way to process ideas of sexual trauma. The two three-dimensional works in the show are dolls made from a variety of craft materials. One doll is crying beaded glittery tears, while the other has red beaded glittery strings of blood coming out of her mouth. While this doll is a vague reference to Shakespeare's Lavinia, a character who endured horrific violence, and the other doll is literally weeping, I intended the mix of craft materials and the general aesthetics of beads and glitter to result in these dolls being very pleasing to the eye and maybe even kind of cute. This show means a lot to me. Not only is it the most personal and emotionally grounded work I've ever done, but it's my first solo exhibition in seven years. I am so grateful to Grey Duck Gallery for giving me the opportunity to make this work and supporting it fully. The show is up until January 9th.